What is going on, Red Air Force? Uh, today, we, a little different video here. Um, so this popped up on the internet. I saw it on Walmart.com, third party, and then it popped up on eBay, and I was like, huh, it looks pretty realistic. But um, with, with further inspection, it looks like it may not be real, which obviously more than likely is not real, but the quality of this, it actually fooled me, so I bought one for a measly 28 bucks. The only red flags that I see in the cover is uh, this Goku, it looks like a Dragon Ball Super superhero artwork. And one of my buddies also pointed out that this dragon, the Shenron, looks like the 30th anniversary artwork. Basically, what we're trying to say is it's reused artwork. Normally, that's not the case. Um, down here, I will say this artwork, I believe, is off of the new Walmart sets, the double packs for Dragon Ball Super. Uh, so that's potentially reused. But then again, this kind of looks like one of them Walmart, um, like a Walmart exclusive. Uh, the front cover it looks very it looks good it looks good don't get me wrong but it also has some red flags uh the spine has some more red flags um i think that goku's from superhero could be wrong not sure the text on here and the quality looks really good uh down here it says 20 dvd that kind of seems odd that they would do that uh another thing is it says funimation instead of crunchyroll now from all future releases of uh, media wise it's gonna say crunchyroll um, so that is a red flag. I'm not saying this could have been produced before the transfer. So the back is a little more uh, suspect because of the Goku artwork. Once again, it looks like it's artwork from Dragon Ball Superhero. Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Um, the barcode, I looked it up. It can't find nothing online, which that's not necessarily unusual because there's some like discreet releases that you just cannot find any info on. Uh, so that's not necessarily terrible. Uh, another red flag is it shows parts 1 through 10 and the, the individual releases. Like, why would they do this if this is the complete um, season set? You know, so that's kind of odd. Uh, the text, it's just a regular text on the back of, I guess, um, part 1. Or uh, the first, um, any Dragon Ball Super release, the description of the part 1 is going to have that usually. Uh, down here... FBI uh, law and all that looks good. NTSC 16 by 9. Again, it says Funimation right here instead of Crunchyroll. Um, potentially, that seems sus because it should be Crunchyroll now. Other than that, nothing looks too bad. Uh, the top looks fine. Nothing sus about it. Uh, the bottom is just the same as the top. Um, now, the side. Okay, so the side is kind of suspect to me because... It's in this thick plastic case. We've never seen a Dragon Ball release uh, like that. Now, there is another fake going on online that uses the same exact cases. As the, I'm pretty sure I don't. I didn't buy that one because I, it's obviously fake. I'll put a picture on the screen. I'm sure some of you guys have it or have bought it. Uh, it's been selling like crazy, selling for the same price. So I do believe this is a fake because whoever made the other one just is using the same cases but actually updated the art to, artwork to make it look more authentic. But we are going to open this up and deep dive this thing. So let's let's see. Let's see what the disc look like and all that good stuff. Let's see what this thing can do. But I will say, whoever done this did a really good job at making it look realistic. This is probably one of the most more realistic fakes out there. Then again, we haven't proven ourselves yet. So the box doesn't feel like something we've ever had before. I will say that. Okay, so the box, it, it's pretty good quality actually, but it just something about it doesn't feel like Crunchyroll or Funimation standard. And I will say, oh wait, okay, I thought that was shrink wrap, but it's not. So, same thing on the back here. It, I mean, like I said, it, it is, it's cool, it's cool. I kind of wish it was real. I'm definitely leaning to its fate. Okay, the question is, are the DVDs real? Okay, so whoever put this, whoever assembled this, uh, did not put this disc in first. Okay, so I cannot tell by the disc. And it could, it could very well be legit disc. Highly doubt it though. Um, so the disc look very good quality too. Part one, part two, part three. Part four, part five, part six, part seven, 
part eight. Can't see, there it is, part eight, part nine. This whole thing just fell out. Wow, okay. Yeah, <laughs> that that's another, that's odd that that whole thing fell out. Part 10. So, it's all there. I can't tell if the discs are legit or not. This thing literally just fell out of its casing, which, to me, that's, um... Uh, a sign that it's very cheaply made. Um, the only other thing to do now is literally compare it in a computer and see what the disc size is. See if the uh, disc or the correct disc or just like bootlegs. So I'm going to get the real copies out and we're going to just visually inspect the disc. So another main reason why I think these are fake are because Dragon Ball Super DVDs are heavily uh, exploited and sold bootleg. Like, the, it, um, a lot of people probably own a bunch of fakes and don't even know it. I get a lot of comments on my, uh, on my Dragon Ball Super Parts 1 through 10 uh, DVDs saying they bought fakes, they didn't realize it. But, they, you know, if you're buying, if you're buying 1 through 10 for like 30 bucks, there's no way you're buying a legit set. It's just, you know, it wouldn't make sense that somebody would sell proper DVDs for that cost. You know. When they, when you probably have to spend at least a hundred to get them all now, if you're lucky. So I'm just gonna do part one, because that should be just enough to determine. Okay, so here is my disc here on part one. This disc, let's see if they feel different. Okay, don't know if y'all can tell. Okay, it is a blatantly different texture to the fake one. It's actually got, um, it's actually, believe it or not, it's got more uh, friction on the disc. And this, the, the real one is smooth, very smooth. Let me just view with my eyeballs. I'm gonna pull them back and I'm just gonna view them with my eyes. Okay. Yeah, so these are very, very fake. <laughs> um, if you look really close, well, you probably can't tell on camera, but the Toei Animation Bird Studio, it's very blurry, like it's not proper. You can only tell in, in real life, I'm sure, but look how better that looks. Actually, you can tell a little bit. It just looks way smoother. Okay, with further inspecting, um, even the lines on Goku, it just looks kind of like pixelated and all that good stuff. Whereas the real one is just crisp. Here, take a look at the, at the real one. Everything is just crisp. Yeah, you can definitely tell a the difference there. So that just confirms it for me. It's fake, obviously. Uh, I will put them in a disc, and if I find anything, I'll let you guys know. And that's going to be it for this video. I have to say, whoever designed this did a very good job. A few red flags there, but other than that... If it wasn't for the, you know, if it wasn't for me getting down to the disc, I would have never known. Well, I would have had hunches, but I would have never fully known. The artwork on the case looks great, except that it, why did you use art from a whole different movie than, you know, the series itself? You know, anyways, artwork is phenomenal. Unfortunately, I have to say that because uh, that means only more releases can come out that are just as hard to distinguish. Uh, if it wasn't for the disc having that low quality print on them, it'd be very hard to tell other than like diving in on a computer or checking the um, actual file file size uh, and all that good stuff. Um, so I, I'm assuming the disc quality is lower because um, you know the, it's probably hard to find a professional um, printer that can print CD labels or, or either you know third party. Either way, if you send them into a company to do them for it's probably hard to get a professional grade quality for cheap so that would explain why he's probably just using a printer at home that has a uh, and he has discs that just have printable labels on there which you can buy I've looked into it as well for other things so yeah uh, the verdict is in it's fake do not buy these or the other one I'll put it on screen right now just to remind you guys do not buy them ever they are fake they're not even authentic DVDs so it's not worth the money you're gonna spend uh, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Take care guys. Don't get scammed. Happy New Year. More videos to come. Take care guys. Later.